Hey everybody, John and Bigo dear. Hello and good afternoon greetings from Toma, Wisconsin. Once again today it is Sunday. Happy Sunday everyone. November 4th, 2018. Temperature here according to Google is 48 degrees. All right, we're only about 5.5 miles away to Walmart. Local time is 3.26. Our delivery schedule appointment is at 3.46. So I think we're, we're going to be all right. Let me double check that, okay? Just that way we don't get into uh, trouble here. Yeah, our delivery is at 3.45 p.m. Now, whether that's accurate or not, I don't know. But that's what the bosses say. Sometimes the boss likes to say, Yeah, your appointment is at 3.30, but your appointment is actually at 4. Just so you get you arrive but half hour early. Which kind of works out very well sometimes, you know. Uh, it makes you want to leave the house a little early. But anyway, um, 3.45 is our appointment. It is at 3.40... 3.27 right now. We're only 1.4 miles away to the exit. 4.4 four miles to Walmart the weather I think it's gonna rain <laughs> yeah wishing for blue skies but not today not today got an email from John Mullins John I uh, I really don't have any idea to which um, company anybody should start out with I I I have no idea what company to which is good, which is bad. I think Swift is, I think Swift for the most part, they just get a bad rap. I don't think they're a bad company. I think they, you just kind of see more of them having an accident because, well, they're the largest truck there is in, in the United States, I think, right? So the more you, you know, they have more, not necessarily they have they have more accident they just you just see a lot more of them but again I really cannot suggest to who the company to start out with or not because man I I don't study up on that stuff it's forgive me for saying this but those are irrelevant to me I, I have no reason to study what company is good right now I'm just concentrating on working here for ADL and uh, so far so good um, is ADL perfect of course not but I don't know I, I just Everybody's got problems, but I'd rather deal with ADL's problem than than the other company's problem. At least the biggest part that I can really convey to you guys is 
here at ADL, there is no politics. You know, the we have a one-man show. The owner is the dispatcher, the manager, the accountant, the payroll, safety. Is it? Is a one-man show, and he's the only one that I. I talked to and he's the only one that anybody with ADL driver deals with. And, you know, he's trying his best to get newer equipments, which here's a kind of an update to Grace. Grace has been Grace has been completed, and Grace has been manufactured, assembled, and ready to ship out to the dealership. Unfortunately, from what I understand, uh, Volvo in Virginia. You know, that's another thing too that I, I kind of messed up on, is I thought Volvo, Grace was gonna be made in, uh, in Maryland. Apparently not. It's somewhere in Virginia. And one of the hang-ups right now is they're having so much order that uh, they're short on drivers to deliver them to the dealerships. They're ready to pick up, ready to be delivered to the dealership of the boss's choice they just can't seem to find uh, you know drivers truck delivery drivers having said that the latest development now is that it's going to be another three to four weeks upon uh, road ready because well as I said, when once they deliver it to the dealership, they had to go over it, and uh, they had to make it road ready. Then they have to put in a brand new APU on it. Not to mention they have to put in the satellite system, uh, the Qualcomm's or whatever E log stuff. So. And I think the boss is going to put a kind of a brush guard or a moose guard of some kind. And I don't think the people at the manufacturer does that. I think that's kind of a dealership um, a, you know, install. So that's the latest is three to four more weeks and that is why uh, it's gonna be a while all right where do I get the bills here where do I put the bills hey bills where are you there we go all right I, uh, I don't know if I should go get my raincoat you know what? I'll be right back. We'll catch you guys after I check in. Peace. Well, guess what, everybody? Um, here I am busting my buns to get here because the boss and broker told me my appointment is at 3.45 today. Uh, only to find out my appointment is at 3.45 tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. But they were very kind and gracious enough to let me uh, deliver it a day early. So we've been assigned a door nine. But I was warned that there might be a, there might be a trailer still at the dock, which is a good, a door nine is right there by the CTO. Well, Walmart's version of um, 
receiving office. So we've been instructed to open up, a brake seal open up, back in. I think I'm going to slide the tandems backwards just to make it easy for them to... Alright, I get this question all the time. How come you guys slide the tandems backwards? 90% of the time it's required by the customer. One of the biggest reason for that is if your tandems are slid all the way to the front, it your trailer ends up lower than the dock. But if your where is it? Where is it? But if your tandems are slid all the way to the to the back, not only that it it's going to be level at the dock, and it also will prevent it from when the forklift goes in it prevents your the forklift from bending your trailer somewhat it it prevents your 9 10 oh there's a there's a WEL uh, parked here still He's still got a red light, so... I'm gonna go and go to CTO and ask them if I can take door 11 instead. So... I'll be right back. Let's see if uh, what we can come up with here. Peace. All right, I'm gonna just take a chance on door 11. Just gonna back it in there without opening the door. And then I'll go inside if they would okay it or not. Just to, you know, find a place to get it out of the way. I just hope nobody, I just hope they haven't assigned this door to somebody yet while I go check in. things that I can't I find it hard to do is back in while the hot the truck is really hot oh I hate that all right got my brake on neutral 
pull it out. Okay. So let me go in and uh, see if they're okay with it. I got good news and bad news. Good news is I don't have to wait for door 10 to clear. We are in door 11. Bad news is she wants me to take door uh, 9. But it's better than nothing. I'll be quiet. So how do I do this? Let's go that way back. Yeah, you know, I could do it. You go that way. Come on, big truck. Sometimes I gotta put the air conditioning on when I back up. Otherwise I can't think. I can't think if it's too warm in here. Well John to be good. You can't think all the time, so what's the difference? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Should give us enough room to slide the tandems. Give enough peep room for people to get through. You know, I do try. I do try to think of other people behind me, around me. Make sure I'm not blocking the traffic. Try to be considerate to other people. But, <laughs> I must admit, it doesn't always work. <laughs> Sometimes it just goes, phew.
All right, let's slide this tandems. That's it. Reverse. Gotta pump the accelerator. That way you don't end up bumping the dock really hard. There. Now once you're back in, put a little pressure in there. Pressure brake, release uh, accelerator, keep your foot on the brake. Release your brake. Put it on neutral. And uh, now you're ready to unhook and do dolly down. You always want to check that because otherwise you'll end up having taking a bath. Hit bottom, back off one turn. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I got a question for you. Put your brake on. Release your brake. Put it on drive. Unhook from the kingpin. release your airbags. Now, kind of my question is, what possible scenario can you think of that would make it dangerous? For Walmart employee. <laughs> In other words, what is the difference between what I'm doing and what WEL is doing? What is the difference if you fully disconnect all everything supposed to what I'm doing? Every, all my hoses, my electrical, everything's still hooked up. But I am free from the fifth wheel and the kingpin. So... I can't think of a scenario that would make this dangerous. I, I don't know. I just can't. Anyway, I got called them, and uh, 
let them know that I'm already by, uh, backed in so they can submit the paperwork. She can't submit the paperwork until I tell her that I'm already disconnected, docked and shocked, all that stuff. We'll catch you later. Peace. Hey everybody. Alright, we are empty and I'm scanning the rest of the paperwork here. Please bear with me. I'm using Transplow. Prescribed by the boss. That should be good enough. My skin is so dry. I can't hold the paper. I just hope I've got enough signal here to be able to send it. Well, while that's... Oh, there it goes. It went through. It went through. It went through. Let's see. Transplow confirmation. There it is. Alright, so... I'm empty. I'm replying to uh, the broker. Empty. All right, let's go. Broker replied. Thank you. Okay, you are welcome. There you go. Okay, so Bills up here for a minute. All right, what else we got? Oh, this is the uh, gate pass. All right, so last video we are unhooked, pull forward. Now let's reverse a little bit, put the dock plate. I mean, the, oops, put the fifth wheel underneath the trailer, air up the uh, air up the airbags. Now we can back in. Talk. That's it. Look at that truck. That is one beautiful truck. Is your truck? 1969. 1969. No LEDs. Yeah. No DEF. Uh, no, a lot of positive things. 
I wish they stayed the way they were, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I, I run it down to Texas and back every week. Yeah. Every week I go to Texas. How long did you? How long did it take you to restore it like uh, this? The original owner that bought a brand new in 1969, he painted this in 93. So this paint's from the 90s. It's the, the paint, the bunk, you know? Yeah. But when I bought it, with a short little wheelbase wore out. So you, you're the one that extended it? It's most of this truck's 05. All the suspension's 05, the front axle's 05. I got a B model air to air pad, it's a 93 motor, uh, 18 speed, and uh, yeah, yep. and then I put the pipes on it. But I haven't painted it or nothing yet. He painted this in the 90s, which motor that bought it in 69. Do you ever take her to truck shows? Uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I haven't yet. I got, I did the drivetrain, yeah. I'm going to strip her down and then I'm going to doctor it up cosmetically and stuff, but it cleans up nice. But I love it, man. I love it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, no, I, I love I love running. I love trucking with it. I just started doing the door panels. Yeah. The headliner. Wow, Still check that out. Panels. Every gauge is brand new. I got headliners for here, but I had a water leak through the bolt right here. Yeah. And it was dripping, so I pulled my otherwise I have panels there. And we found it. I just fixed it back out of our shop. But, uh, yeah, every electrical, there's no original anything. No original wiring, no original airlines. We gutted it right down to, when we started, I took it down to a front axle, a cab, and a frame rail. That was it. Then we started building it. I tell you what, it's turning some heads, man. So, yeah. congratulations, yeah, my friend. Appreciate it. Take care, Paul. Yeah. Very nice. All right, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. You got to put this on minus 10. In preparation for our next load. Set point is changed. Our fifth wheel is locked. slide the tandems when I get to the yard, I mean the guard shack.
did another tug. Quite redundant, ain't it? I gotta find out where Larry is. Long haul Larry. By the way, uh, just to give you JBG Travels uh, patrons out there, just to let, well, let make you aware, I have uh, posted uh, three videos on the Patreon page today. So if you missed the uh, notification, go visit my Patreon page. And uh, for those of you patrons out there, um, I think you might enjoy that video. So videos, just a plug out there about my Patreon page. For those of you who are not Patreon, Members, um, it's okay. You're not forced to go there. But you are, however, encouraged to visit Patreon, uh, JBG Travels. In fact, I managed to put a link on the video, on the Patreon uh, link there. So go ahead and visit that if you wish. OTR left lane. Finally, they got smart. Put those big old sign. All right, we'll catch you guys later. I don't want to ruffle any feathers here, so we'll catch you guys later. Okay? I'll be right back. Peace. All right, we are on our way to. Where are we going? Little Shoot, Wisconsin. Yeah, Little Shoot, Wisconsin. Picking up a load there. Uh, headed for Laurel, Maryland. I think Long Haul Larry will be there also, but I think he might be already loaded and he might be gone by the time I get there, so who knows? Oh, what else is there? That's all I could think of at the moment. Anyway, we'll catch you guys later, okay? Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy Sunday. Alright, Johnny, be good here. Peace.